I got a secret to my single aging men and women that are tuning into my show. I have a secret. Somebody wants to date you. Let's talk about that today on Life Start. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Life Starring Deb. I am extremely happy today to bring you this episode. I went on YouTube last night and I was just looking at past episodes and I actually looked at the subscriber count, which I don't normally do. I don't like to pay attention to that because sometimes that can be a little bit discouraging. But I looked on there and I had over 500 subscribers. Now listen. To some people, that's nothing. But to me, that's a big deal. Especially since I started out with like six when I started this show. And I'm just happy that people are tuning in and they are getting the information and they're sharing the information. And I'm ecstatic. So welcome to all my new subscribers and especially welcome back to those of you that have been hanging with me now since I started the show. So today I am going to jump right in here and I'm going to talk about this topic and I'm not going to be long. This topic is especially for my 50 and my 60 year olds. Now that's not saying that if you're younger than 50 to tune out, no, definitely tune in. But I want to talk to my friends, those that are 50 and 60 and higher, 70s even. And what I want to talk about is dating. You know, there are some people out there that feel like once you get of a certain age, you can't date anymore. There are family members that will tell you why. Why do you need a date? Why do you need to meet other people? Why, why, why? And then there are those of us that will listen to that and decide they're right. I'm too old. I don't need to be trying to find a mate. I don't need to be trying to find a companion because I, you know, that was then and this is now and I need to just settle in to my mature age. Listen, I am here to tell you if you decide that you want a companion, that you want to get out and meet people, that you want to date, that you still feel like you have something to offer somebody, then by all means, get out there and do it. You are not too old to find a mate. You are not too old to meet new people and experience even new things in your mature aging life. And you have an advantage. And the advantage is, you have been there, done that. The advantage is you are older and wiser. You have the advantage of probably having more time to devote to looking for a mate. You also have the advantage of being more selective about what it is that you want and what it is that you want to do. So, what do you do with all that? First, you've got to get out and go where the people are. As much as we like to think that that person that's supposed to be in your life is just going to walk up to your door and ring the bell and say, hey, I'm here. Unless it's the, you know, Amazon driver or mailman or something like that. It probably won't happen that way. So you've got to get out where the people are. Now you have to be very clear and very honest with yourself about what it is that you're looking for. Because if you want to date someone that is younger than you, okay, then you have to go where the younger than you people hang out. You can't go to the senior center or maybe bingo if you know that you want someone that's 
much younger. You need to go to the sports bars or happy hour or some of the brunch spots, places like that, because that is where the younger men and women are going to be. They're not going to necessarily be in the bingo places unless they are just, you know, they love bingo. And then if that's the case, then they probably not going to have time uh, to talk to you and notice you because <laughs> they looking at them chips, right? So be very honest about what it is that you're looking for. And when you meet someone, you don't have to necessarily communicate that right up. Like, you know what? I'm looking for a husband. You know, you don't want to run anybody away. But what you do want to do is, you know, you want to be honest within your own self. Okay, so what do I want? Do I just want a companion? Do I want someone to hang out with? Or am I looking for a potential long-term relationship or whatever it is, then you need to decide. Also, you need to trust someone, someone that's close to you that will understand and let them know, hey, you know what? I think it's time for me to date. But understand that once that information gets out, not everyone is going to be happy for you. Some people will discourage you. They will tell you, girl, you don't need to be out there. Ain't nothing out there but some food. You know, you know what? Just you content. You might, your grown children might say, don't bring nobody else over here. You may get that. You will have people that will tell you that you are too old. That you know what? Don't, you've already done that. You're divorced or you're, you know, never been married or you are a widow or whatever it is. And while they are telling you that, that they don't want you to go out there, that you shouldn't go out there. After they finish telling you, guess what? They are going to go on with their life and they are going to date and they're going to have fun and they're going to hang out while you are peeking at them out the window as they drive out of your driveway and go have fun. You're going to be in your house sitting and wishing probably that you could get out there with them. And you can. You can. You are not too old. And at this time in your life, when you get to be in your 50s and 60s and beyond, you have to walk in the confidence and the wisdom that life has given you, right? You know how to show up and dress the part. You know how to walk in the room and have people look like, you know what? Because you are seasoned, right? You should be able to recognize game from before it even hits you, like, mm -mm, that's not a good situation. And you don't have to spend a lot of time, and I don't want you to be discouraged if you don't find it right away. It will take time sometimes, and sometimes it happens immediately because this is a big world, and there's a lot of people out there, and there's a lot of people out there just like you that's looking for companionship. So don't stop your life. Don't stay at home watching TV or, you know, just curled up in the corner. If you want to get out, if you want to get out, get out. If you want to meet people, meet people. They are everywhere and opportunity is everywhere. If you put your mind to it, that this is what you want to do. I believe that God gives us the desires of our heart, but you have to make sure that you know what that is. Don't be fake. Don't lie. Just be who you are. Say with your mouth what it is that you want. Believe that it's going to happen. And I believe that it will. So that is today's show. Thank you so much for tuning in. I so appreciate our time together. Until next time, be good to you. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new, tell a friend, like, notify, and let's get together again at this corner of Life Starring Dev. I look forward to seeing you. Take care.